Giannis Antetokounmpo was coming out. Adrian Griffin, remember I told you they're trying to be disciplined with their minutes. Greek Freak wasn't having it though. Immediately put Giannis back in. Connaughton went back out. This is where you know that a coach is going to be fired. And there have been a few of these situations where Giannis simply doesn't want to sub out. This is the ultimate disrespect to a coach, and it's an obvious distrust in his abilities and voice. Adrian Griffin never had a voice and never had the locker room for start of training camp. The sudden firing of Adrian Griffin is just the culmination of the chaos that the Bucks have been in for this entire season, and it all started from the moment they hired him. What most people don't know, that was my 14th interview, and a lot of no's, so... It was been a long haul. A lot of people don't know I've been interviewing since maybe 2012 as far as head coach interviews. So it's been a long time coming. Okay, so let me get this straight. Half the league said no to Griffin, but then a team like the Bucks with championship expectations every year wants to give him a chance? This was bound to fail from the very beginning. The one thing that Milwaukee did great in my opinion was the addition of Terry Stotts as an assistant coach. He'd been with Lillard for 9 years and was supposed to be the offensive coach for the Bucks. But the season hadn't even started yet when we saw this. Stotts returned to coaching after 2 years away to join Adrian Griffin's new staff but has decided that he won't continue in that role. This resignation after just 2 months on the job shocked everyone so there had to be something more to it and Sham Sharania exposed the real reason behind it. It was an incident that happened during practice. As Shams explained it, when Stotts attempted to start a conversation with Lillard and Giannis, Griffin called him to join the coaching huddle. And when Stotts asked for some time with the players, Griffin yelled at him to join the coaches. The incident happened in front of the entire team. So I guess that a coach with 13 years of experience like Terry Stotts didn't like to deal with this type of behavior from a rookie coach. Which, by the way, you see how Griffin acts all tough in front of his assistant, but then folds and cannot hold his own in front of Giannis? This is a guy that really hasn't figured out how to communicate well with people above and below him at work. Speaking of work, the Bucks defense has been horrible this season. They went from the 4th best defense last year down to being 21st at the moment. There is no way a team wins the championship with that bad of a defense. It's another bad defensive performance from the Bucks, and this has now become a trend. This was an elite defensive team over the last few years. Their defense has collapsed. They're 25th now. That is not acceptable for a team of this kind of defensive talent. With the coaching change, let's just be honest, they don't seem to have the same level of attention to detail and focus at the defensive end of the floor. Griffin tried to tinker with the defense the moment he got the coaching job. This lasted for a few games before some players started to speak out that they were way better with last year's defensive scheme. In Giannis's viral rant, everyone focused on and laughed at the comment about the equipment manager. But if you dive deeper, you see that most of what he's saying, like we have to defend better, we have to be coached better, or we have to have a better strategy, all of that was shots fired towards Griffin. So all of this led to Bucks firing him, but the situation is just getting even crazier. Milwaukee is about to hire Doc Rivers, who as we're just finding out has already been working with them as an unofficial consultant to Griffin. So let me get this straight, you're hiring the guy who told your coach what to do which led to all of this, are you kidding me? Not to mention that Doc Rivers has had nothing but failures with high profile teams for years. This includes him holding the record for the most 3-1 leads blown in the playoffs. That Doc Rivers? His last successful coaching job was with Boston more than a decade ago. Ever since then, it's been disappointing. So is he gonna coach Giannis and Dame? And Bucks fans, let me ask you, was it worth it firing a great mind like Mike Budenholzer for all of this? Man, the NBA has gone zero days without being dramatic. Just the last video we had a staggering turn of events that you need to check out right here. Talk to you in the next one, peace out.